7 Myths About the Eternal Israeli-Palestinian War Myth number 1. They've been fighting for centuries. Even Hillary Clinton espoused this misconception. She once compared the Israeli-Palestinian conflict to the 800-year-old British-Irish conflict. In reality, this war is relatively modern. The conflict formally started in 1948. Some might argue that it began in the early 1900s, but it's been about 100 years at most, not 3,000, as often claimed. Myth number two, Palestinians Israelis aren't a real nationality. This argument is heard from both sides. The pro-Palestinian view accuses Israelis of inventing their identity, and vice versa. Both perspectives carry elements of racism. All national identities, to some extent, are constructs. Both Israelis and Palestinians have ancient histories. Both adopted their identities in response to oppression. Myth number three, the conflict is impossible to understand. The Israel-Palestine issue is intricate, but not overwhelmingly so. The central concern is who controls what land. Dividing Jerusalem is the most challenging detail. Resolving the conflict is difficult, but understanding it is not. Myth number four, this is all about religion. Indeed, Israelis are mostly Jewish, and Palestinians are mostly Muslim. But it's not a clash between Judaism and Islam. The conflict is about land and nationhood, not religion. Nonetheless, there's a religious dimension to it. Jerusalem houses Islam's third holiest site, Al-Aqsa Mosque. It also hosts Judaism's holiest site, the Western Wall. Both Israelis and Palestinians want access to this area. Myth number five, Israel was created as an apology for the Holocaust. The Holocaust boosted global support for Jews, but factors for Israel's creation had predated it. They included European anti-Semitism, a strong Zionist movement, Jewish immigrants in Palestine, and diplomatic support. The UN created a Jewish state in its 1947 partition plan for Palestine, but this was largely a reaction to the chaos in British Palestine. Myth number six, the US can make Israel end the conflict overnight. There are two misconceptions here. The first blames Israel for the entire conflict. Israel does hold more control today, but Palestinian groups also contribute to the conflict. A unilateral Israeli withdrawal wouldn't end the war. An agreement with groups like Hamas would still be necessary. The second misconception is about the US. The US is not unconditionally pro-Israel. Both countries openly spy on each other. The US has provided half a billion in aid to the Palestinian Authority. It has generally tried to facilitate a diplomatic solution. Myth number seven, there's a universally agreed upon vision of a peace deal. The main parties indeed support a two-state solution. This means separate states for Israel and Palestine. Borders could align with the 1948 armistice lines. Land swaps would allow Israel to keep West Bank land with Israeli settlers. Palestine would get land in exchange. However, it's an oversimplified perspective. How do you split Jerusalem? How do Palestinian refugees return? Can Palestinians accept a deal curbing their own sovereignty? Like giving Israel control over Palestinian airspace? There are more questions than answers.